was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry, for it is written in the book of Psalms, let his encampment become desolate, and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed two, Joseph, called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias, then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust, from the dunghill he lifts up the poor, to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last as the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. 
remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, first of all, I want to extend a special greeting to our friends at Waveney Care, who will be watching this Mass. So, hello, friends. Um, I miss seeing you, and keeping you in prayer, and uh, this is to those who are residents, as well as the amazing, wonderful staff there at Waveney Care. Uh, greetings from your uh, pastor here in town for the Catholic community, and from our entire parish family at St. Aloysius. So today's feast is for Matthias, and I think if there was oh, Catholic jeopardy, uh, that would be one of the daily doubles, because People don't realize that, that wow, there was this somebody who replaced Judas, right? And so uh, most people think, oh wait, no, maybe that was Paul. Was that Stephen? No, no, no. It was this guy named Matthias. And we can see from that first reading in the Acts of the Apostles that there's a need to fill that space, right? So Judas did what Judas did. And the other day we talked about forgiveness and, and, and what that meant for uh, the heart of Judas, who just wasn't able to do that, right? And wasn't able to, to embrace the mercy of Jesus. So it's so important for the life of our discipleship with Jesus to, to have that apostolic succession. So they go about making a selection. So there are two candidates, and nothing against Joseph, you know, Justice, Barsabbas, no, 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 nothing against him. But this is the work of the Holy Spirit that uh, the Lord himself and the Holy Spirit was involved in the selection. So what's, what's the big deal? Why does there have to be a replacement? Well, because I think in, in God's plan, there has to be that sense of the 12, those who are gonna go out and really take the mission of Jesus to the whole world. And the key here is remaining in him, as we heard in the gospel. Jesus says, Remain in me, and, and, and life will be good. Everything will be okay. And I think that has been our theme throughout our confinement, is to okay, stay with the Lord, stay with the Lord, stay with the Lord. And we're already seeing some fatigue from people. We're already seeing that the number of people watching Mass has gone down. And maybe you're watching other Masses, and that's fine with me. That's fine with me. But the reality is, I think, I know I'm getting really tired of working just, you know, in front of a screen. And I'm longing for you know for the contact with people again and that will come that will come slowly and I think that's so important too that we do this slowly so the importance of having a replacement for Judas is so that that 12 can really own the mission of Jesus and get it out to the world and then you know what the requirements were right Matthias was with the followers of Jesus from the baptism of John through the resurrection. They needed somebody who witnessed the entire ministry of Jesus and was a witness to the resurrection. You know, hearing from perhaps Mary Magdalene, he's risen, he's risen. And then eventually you kind of run out of those people. And so guess what, friends? Yes, it continues in our bishops, no question about it, that apostolic succession but it also continues in you and me. We're called to spread the gospel. And I will say directly to our friends at Waveney, that is by our ministry to one another in whatever way we can, extending acts of kindness, being people of resurrection who say, you know, even though it's tough right now, I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus who has risen. 
I believe in the Lord who sent the Holy Spirit so that he could be with us the whole time. And in my despair, in my worry, in my frustration, I'll go to Jesus. I will remain in him. And so that's our mission, is to do that, to live that first ourselves, and others will notice what's happening. And that's, that's spreading the gospel. That, that's, that's our requirement. So we give thanks to the Lord for the gift of the apostles who continue the spread of the gospel to this day, specifically in our bishops, but then also the gift of being able to do that ourselves. As we continue and we get closer to seeing one another again, may we be patient and remain in him, close to the Lord who gives us everything we need. The Lord calls us to himself with faith and trust, let us bring our petitions before him. For the church, may the Lord raise up saints to lead all of us in holiness and faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our bishops who continue the apostolic succession, may the Lord give them what they need to lead, especially in these challenging days. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, may the grace of the Lord transform hearts to see the dignity of every person and the sanctity of creation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who labor and faith is known only to the Lord, may God strengthen and sustain them, and may St. Matthias intercede for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community, for our community that watches from afar, for our friends at Waveney Care, may the Holy Spirit give each of us the grace to fully answer our particular call to holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, we remember, uh, especially today, Mark Gerard Peters, for whom this Mass is offered. May the Lord welcome Mark and all those who have died into his eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intention, which is uh, the intention of this Mass, and for all of your special intentions that you call to mind now. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you know our hearts and you hear our prayers. Grant what we ask according to your holy will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at the hands of the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we claim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Frank our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Aloysius, Saint Matthias, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious to grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Friends, we say now the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are really here in the blessed sacrament. I love you more than anything in the world, and I hunger to receive you. But since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself to you now, as I do when I actually receive you. Amen.
This is my commandment, love one another as I love you, says the Lord, Alleluia. Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts, and through blessed Matthias's intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the lot of the saints in light, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, greetings to our friends at Waveney. I would ask that uh, we pray for all who are there. Uh, we miss you, and we look forward to the day that uh, we may see each other, even if it's on a screen. In the meantime, we all pray that we may love one another as Jesus has commanded us, and we ask the Lord in these days, as we slowly emerge, that um, he will give us the gifts that we need to do well, the gift of patience, the gift of understanding, and the great gift of love. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a blessed day.